Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. And many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light always in the highest of vibrations, okay? I return to source. I return to sender all negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. Anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled. As we, as I have said, <laughs> so shall it be. <laughs> Judgment is final. So we have our Eight of Pentacles followed by the Ten of Cups out here. So you could end up working with someone where it's going to lead to some type of abundance. There could be someone that wants to work with you. So someone has been watching you, wants to make some type of work offer to you, some type of collaboration. Now, I don't know if this is really love. I think this more so has to do with you two working together. So keep that in mind. Maybe for some of you, it does have to do with love. But right now, I, because I see the Eight of Pentacles out here, I am assuming this has to do with love. Someone could see that you are very much committed you are, you know, perfecting something that's interested, interesting to you, something you hold dear to your heart, and someone know it's worth committing to you. So they may want to collaborate with you and build some type of business empire with you, okay? Someone is definitely watching you on social media or some way, some, in some way, some form. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. Someone may be traveling to you with this Six of Swords out here. Um, maybe they're getting over some type of betrayal by loved ones, friends, families, whatever you want to call it. Someone may be going through some type of healing and they're moving on with their life. Maybe going, yeah, someone is going through healing after some type of heavy betrayal by someone close to them, someone they trusted, someone they thought was in the upright, but this is someone that betrayed them. This is like a false higher fence. So, let's see. <laughs> I say a false higher fan, and then when I split the deck, look who shows up. Someone was betrayed by a false higher fan. This is someone they trusted. This is someone they've known for a long time. This is someone they saw as a confidant, and it turns out that this is someone they could not trust, right? So this could be like either a pastor, uh, someone that pretends to have high moral character. This could be someone that is either like a bishop, some type of religious character. Someone thought that they could trust but possibly betray them. Not possibly. They did betray them. And this is a rude awakening for whoever wants to work with you. Someone is going through some type of shock. They may be having a hard time dealing with it or accepting it, but it was absolutely necessary um, because this is like you being friends with the enemy, you being in bed with the enemy and not knowing that they are the enemy. This could have been like a best friend. Just someone they've known for a long time. For some of you, this could have been like a family member they trusted. Uh, it's just maybe even a mother. I just saw the Queen of Pentacles. This could have been a mother figure or a wife figure that betrayed them, but someone was betrayed by someone really close to them, someone they thought they could trust, someone who was a confidant, okay? Uh, so, I keep seeing a lot of pentacles and things like that. I do think that this has to do with some type of business relationship. Someone wants to have some type of success with you, so they may be coming towards you, taking some type of trip towards you to make some type of proposal to you in business. They say, hey, I would like to work with you, um, what do you say about that? Someone who want to give to you financially as well, just so that it can help prosper your business, all your endeavors, whatever it is you have your heart set on that you're trying to build. Someone wants to invest in that, but I don't think they are uh, expecting anything in return or demanding anything in return. I think they just want to work with you. So I don't think there's any ulterior motives to this. Um, but I, of course, I always advise caution on here. People may be interfering with this person coming towards you. There could be a king of pen, a king of swords behind the scenes interfering with someone's victory. They know what someone is planning and they are interfering with that. There could be a king of swords as well that wants to interject in this collaboration. So maybe this king of swords wants to come and collaborate with you, but there's some type of ulterior motive for this king of swords. So I will be mindful if you know who this king of swords is. They are interfering with someone's plans. 
is that they know this person either wants to take some type of trip or they want to make some type of connection, make some type of move. And this King of Swords is interfering with that. Um, they may be having this person like second guessing your, themselves. Is that, hey, are you sure you want to do that? This person doesn't really look like they have their stuff together. But you're showing up as an empress here. This person is having whoever it is that wants to work with you second guess themselves. Um, that's kind of sad. That's pathetic as heck. That is so pathetic. Um, but this is what's going on. They're trying to interfere with someone's victory. They may even be trying to destroy whoever you're trying to go to as well. So it's a lot going on behind the scenes that you may not be aware of. And the person you're going towards may not be aware of. Maybe they don't even know that you want to work with them. Um, because there's been blockages put in place by a lot of characters and things like that. Excuse me. They don't know that there are blockages going on and you don't know. You, you didn't know, I'm being corrected to say you didn't know and it's been brought to your awareness that the people around you have been interfering with your forward movement. These are people that you trust that, yeah, something has been illuminated to you about a commitment that you wanted to give to someone, but people have been interfering with this, with you taking this action, right? It's a huge, it's something bigger than you possibly realize that's going on, Okay. You and this person could stay uh, at a distance from one another. I said distance and then this comes up. You two don't stay in the same city or state or country, something of that nature. You two stay on different sides of the world. So you may have to take some type of action to go towards this person is what I'm hearing. But it looks like it will happen. But first, there has to be some type of clarity. Something has to be clear up. There could be some type of legal proceedings going on due to some type of malicious action someone took, someone close to you. So just be mindful of that. But whoever you are trying to work with, um, you are right about them. They are committed to what it is. They are doing their dreams, their goals, their aspirations, and things like that. People may be misjudging someone either because of the social class that they come from or because of their maybe their color, their belief systems, something of that nature. Um, there's something going on where someone is being misjudged by the person. Someone is, being, someone is being misjudged by something that they possibly don't even have any control over, like their the color of their skin, something like that, something really ridiculous. And it could also have to do with resources as well. Maybe you come from an affluent background and the person you want to connect with does not come from an affluent background. So people are trying to discourage you from connecting with this person. They may be encouraging you to maybe go to the past or something like that. Because with the Six of Wands in the upright, this has to do with you achieving victory and being forward, going forward, right? But in the reverse, this is you not really moving forward, right? This is you experiencing some type of a, a, a setback in life, you going backwards. So they may be advising you to either go to a past relationship, a past person, or staying in some type of bachelorette mindset, something of that nature. But just, I think you know now, yeah, they don't want you moving forward. Like they want to keep you in your mind. Like you want to take action, but people are interfering. People are trying to block you from remo from moving forward. I don't know why people are this committed to your life, to your forward movement. I mean, like, this is your decision. This is your decision, right? But they don't want you taking action. They want you to keep pondering, but you already know what you want to do. I think you're just waiting for the right time. So it doesn't matter what action people are taking or trying to take, you're going to do things when you feel like you when you feel like it's the right time to do it, basically. I don't know why your friends and families are this committed to holding you back in a uh, a union or a situation that's not fulfilling for you. That should let you know what people, how people really care for you or what their motives are for you when they're trying to block you from having success. They're going to keep, they're going to keep feeding you, uh, um, has it, like, what is the word that I'm trying to use? They want you second guessing yourself. They're going to keep feeding you manipulation and conflict. They want you to keep second guessing yourself and things like that. But spirit is interjecting. They're telling you to go for it. Take action. Okay? And I think you know that. 
for some reason, with this King of Swords out here, I'm getting that you are someone that is an action taker. Like, you have your mind made up. So, it doesn't matter what your foes are doing. You're still going to take action. You may not take it right now, but you're going to take it in the future. And you will be successful with the action you end up taking. It just won't be right now. But you already know what you are being called to do. So, you're going to do it at the right time. I'm telling you. It's going to be in divine timing. So there's really nothing anyone can do to block you from moving forward. Why, again, why are, this, they, why are they this invested in blocking a collaboration from coming together? Why are these people this invested? I want to know. It's kind of intriguing. Like, why are they this committed to blocking two people from working together, whatever this may be. Someone can be telling you that you're not going to have victory if you take actions to work with someone, whoever you're interested in working in. Someone is feeding you a lot of lies. They want you to feel like you're going to be left out in the cold. Someone is going to betray you. It's not true. They, they want you to feel like you're making the wrong call. But spirit already told you what to do. And you've already made the decision to leave something out in the cold. Something from the past. You've decided, decided to leave that out in the cold. And I think they know that if someone could be upset behind the scenes. Like you're moving forward. You don't care. You're moving forward because you already understand that you may have some type of contract with someone but they're trying to keep you blocked. Yeah, you're still going to make this offer, I'm telling you. You're still going to make this offer. You could have quite a couple of friends, a few friends in your ears telling you that you're making the wrong move. These are people that are really close to you. These are people you've known for a long time. They're trying they're feeding you. I don't know what the word is. It's not coming out. They're feeding you doubt. They want you to feel like you're going to be trapped. Like this person you're going to has nothing to offer you. Like you're going to be setting yourself back by connecting with this person. Right? They may be trying to tell you, hey, you need to be practical about this situation. I don't know about this energy. They seem a little bit imbalanced. They seem like this. They seem like that. But they don't even know the person you're going with. Going, Trying to go towards. They don't know this person on a personal level. So everything they're feeding you is just personal opinions. It's not something that's uh, based on facts or anything like that. They don't know this person. They want you to stay stuck. If you're a bachelor, they want you to stay like a bachelor because it's easier for them to take advantage of you. They may be advising you to go to some toxic union from the past as well. For some of you, don't do that. Be forward moving. Even if you don't go to the person that they are trying to block you from connecting to, go somewhere else. Go to a more stable energy. Okay? But if you go back to the past, you're going to trap yourself in some type of toxic cycle you won't be able to get out of. This is one of those, we break up today, we get back together next weekend. We are together for another two months. We break up, get back together a month later. That karmic cycle is so annoying. You're going to find yourself getting agitated with that person. I don't know what it is that you have with the person from the past, but they're wanting you to go back to the past, but you cannot, you will not. You've already made your decision that you're going to be moving forward, right? You're being practical about the situation. You are being practical. There could have been like someone pay around you to cause you illusions. Like a king of pentacles was paid to cause illusions and distractions. Like someone is, I don't know if they're like a, 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 a double H. Yeah, they're playing with you. They're playing with your mind. Trying to play with you and confuse you about moving forward. They're, they're, uh, they're tempering with someone's work as well. There's someone around you that was paid to temper with someone's business, someone's work. And they're assuming that you don't know about it. But there's someone in your energy that was paid to cause you conflict. 
play with your mind. Yeah, betray you. They said, hey, man, are you sure you want to do this? I don't think you should do that. You know I have your best interest at heart. You and I have been friends for 30 years, right? You know, like, I, I'm going to look out for you. They're not looking out for you. They're not looking out for you. You need to step away, get away from this person. You need to remove yourself from this person's environment. You have a lot of snakes. Yeah, Lord. Someone is wearing a mask around you. Someone is hiding their true intentions. They accept have some type of money behind the scenes to block your forward movement. And because you trust this person, they're going to keep feeding you lies and manipulating you, playing on your emotions and your mental. But you know the truth about this situation is what I just heard. You know what this person is doing. You know. You've called on to them. Because they've been doing this for a while. You've called on to it. You're like ahead of the game, but you're playing along with this person. But they know that you know. Right? They know. Yeah, you know about this betrayal. You know. You know that someone accepted some type of pay behind the scenes and betrayed you. This is a pink of pentacles that betrayed you. And this person is going through some type of loss as well. I don't think this person expected to experience the kind of loss they're experiencing, but they betrayed. Uh, yeah, they're going through loss. I didn't realize this was on the bottom. They're going through some type of loss and they won't be able to recover from it. They thought they were going to have victory in blocking some type of love connection, but they're not. Someone is not going to have victory with this new, blocking this new beginning. It's, yeah, it's still coming into being. I'm telling you, with a queen of wands, you two will have lots of opportunities and things like that together, and people are trapped in their mind. They want you to think that this person is a, a waste of time, someone that's lower than you, beneath you. This is what they want you to think, that someone is mentally conflicted, someone is not worth committing to that you will be binding yourself to a toxic connection if you uh, uh, if you connect with this person. It's not true. This is someone high vibrational, very youthful. It's sad. Yeah, you and this person can mo will move on and heal. I'm telling you, you are being advised to take action. You are being betrayed in a really heavy way. With friends like these, who needs enemies, right? Like, you need to, and I don't even think I need to tell you anymore. You know what to do. I think you just know to stay quiet and keep letting these people do what it is they're doing. But you already understand what's going on from what I'm hearing. You already know. You're being practical about this situation. You know the truth. You have your sword pulled out because you know the tactics. These people, the underhanded tactics They've been using to cause some type of stagnation or separation to prevent you and another person from connecting. They want that person to stay in. Whoever you're trying to connect with is from a different social class than you. And they want them to stay in some type of lower vibrational energy. They're not low vibrational, but financially, someone is not as set as you. And they're trying to block this person from elevating in life. So they want to keep them stuck. They don't want them receiving some type of offer from you because they know it's going to put them in an abundant energy. So they're trying to block them. They don't want them receiving an offer from you. So someone in your camp, it might be a few people, quite a few people in your camp accepted some type of bribery. It could be from the woman that you separated from or a different character to block you and this person from coming together. But it's still going to happen. Like, there's something going on that's really malicious, and it's been going on for a while. And you're just now catching up. And you may be disappointed in yourself because it took you so long to catch on to what was going on. But everything happened in divine timing. They're, they're fighting behind the scenes. The karmics are fighting because you know the truth. And they know you're going to take action to move forward. They know about the betrayal. A close friend of yours betrayed you. They accept their money and they thought they were they were going to be successful in blocking a union from coming together, but it looks like not. 
It's not going to be successful. Their betrayal is not successful. Like in due time, in this collaboration is still going to come out. Something has been exposed to you about a queen of wands in the reverse. This person was expecting to receive some type of offer from you. It may be like some type of new beginning from you. Like you and this person either dated before or this is a woman that was groomed in some type of way to act like she was in the upright and she was expecting to receive some type of offer from you, some type of collaboration. But it looks like it's not happening because you know the truth about this woman. This is someone that's quite wild on the loose side. Someone is a Jizzy Bell naturally. Like she can't help herself. She cannot help herself. She's a she's a Jizzy Bell. This is something she's been doing her whole life. So if you're waiting for this woman to change, it's not happening. Sorry to disappoint you. It's not happening. You're going to keep ending up in this scenario with this woman. If this is someone from your past, if this is someone new that they put in your energy so you can connect with them, this is what you can expect to be happening. Betrayal after betrayal. There's some type of setup. Be mindful. These people are very desperate to block your forward movement, to block this connection. So I will be careful. You may want to stop hanging out with these people. I don't know if you all go to parties together. There may be some type of event or something going on they want to invite you to. You may want to not go to that event. Don't go. It's a setup. You need to stop hanging out with these people. Cut this woman out. I think you already did. You already cut this person out. Because it looks like she's not receiving any offer from you. And she's heartbroken about that. She's not receiving an offer from you. This woman has been playing her role for a long time. Like they're like, yeah, this is what he likes. This is how he wants his women to behave. And she was like, oh, I can do that. And they were grooming her very well to be your ideal partner. But you cut on to the to whatever was going on. You cut on. She may even be cheating on you. Like you've cut on to their scheme. And it's not going anywhere. Whoever they've been wanting you to connect with is the complete opposite of who you are supposed to be with or who it is you're wanting to connect with. And this is all because of money, social class, something about prejudice as well. You're going through a tower right now is what I'm hearing as well. I've seen this tower card quite a few times. You're going through a tower. Yeah, you're going through a tower. You're realizing that people have been working against you to prevent you from getting in a connection with a queen of, of pentacles. They want you to be afraid of this person, but you have nothing to fear. You've been advised to walk away. You are going to have success with this woman or this person, this man. And your people around you know that they're fighting amongst themselves. You will have success with this person. And they know that. That's why they're fighting. And they're hide, they may be hiding this battle from you. Like this confusion, this conflict, they're hiding it from you behind the scenes. But they know you're going to be successful with whoever you're going through. They may want you to uh, uh, to shorthand this person you're going through. Is that they're not worth committing to. So, you know, don't even bother. Just go in, you know, uh, uh, befriend them or whatever and come back. Don't do that. You're going to be setting yourself up for failure because source does not play about the type of energy you're trying to go towards. This is divine intervention, by the way. If you can see here, whoever you're going to, they're protected by their ancestors. So if you go in there trying to shorthand them, pocket change them, whatever the term is, it's going to cause an ending for you. Anyone that tries to play in the energy of who you are trying to go to, this is what happens to them. They experience some type of ending, and it's a drastic ending. It's not something oftentimes they're able to recover from. It's something that's lifelong, very long-lasting. It takes a long time. If they're able to get over it, it takes a long time for them to heal and recover from that loss. So I would be mindful if I was you. If these people are advising you to go in and shorthand a healer, you better not. Like, it's best for you not to even go in that person's energy if your motives are not pure for them. Okay?
There are there could be a few masculines around you that are working together to block this. I don't know what it is, but they're, they're blocked. They're working together. Your friends are working together to block you from moving forward. They don't want you taking any type of action. They want to keep you stuck. Oh, they want to keep you stuck, but you're going to be moving forward. This is divine intervention. We have the judgment out here with the wheel of fortune. This is divine intervention that this woman is being exposed to you. She's being exposed to you. Okay, and you're being advised to stand your ground, take action, move forward at the right time. You will have success with whoever it is you are trying to go to, whether it's in business or in love. I'm getting more so of a business relationship initially for some of you, and it may turn into something else later. But you're going to have success with this person. You're going to have success with this person. Your, your friends, your families, whoever, they don't know what they're talking about. They, they are purposely trying to mislead you because some of them have been paid to mislead you. And some of them, they benefit from being around you and they know whoever this is you are going to connect with. Once you connect with them, they're going to hit you on some type of game. And it's not going to be something that they, that they won't be able to take advantage of you anymore, basically. You and this person are going to have success together. You will birth some type of new, either new business, new reality, something new together. And it is going to be successful. And they don't want you being successful with this person. They want you to stay in some type of toxic and karmic mindset. Yeah, you and this person are going to get married. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is what they are afraid of. They are afraid of you two getting married, but you're already married in spirit. And you're about to do that in the physical. So it's already destined to be. They can't block it. This is what they are afraid of. Oh my goodness. You've already made judgment to move forward. Whatever this is they're trying to block is already destined to be. It's not going to be blocked. It is wish fulfillment. You're putting it into a chapter and starting a new one. Listen, you see how this is lined up? Your old chapter is over. You will have wish fulfillment when you get into this connection. It is going to lead to some type of marriage or solid commitment. A solid collaboration. Oh my gosh, that's what they are afraid of. This queen of wands, whoever this is. I don't know if this is someone from your past or someone new. This woman has some type of superficial mindset where she thought she was better than whoever it is that you are wanting to connect with. There's something about complexion that keeps coming up in my head. It's like maybe the person you are going towards may be of a darker complexion or something. Maybe they come from an ethnic background. There's someone brown, maybe Indian, maybe a Hispanic, a person of color. And whoever this is thinks that they're better than that person. And they're being humbled. It said, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know why that is so relevant in our day and time. The complexion of a person having some type of effect on their, uh, 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 having some type of uh, 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 influence on their value. Just because someone is light skin does not mean they're high value. Just because someone is dark skin does not mean they're low. They have low values. All of that is irrelevant. You have to get to know someone for yourself to decide and to see if they are high value or not. But people have been playing with your mind, playing with your heart to prevent you from having wish fulfillment. Yeah, they don't want you going towards this person. Someone is wearing a mask around you. They want you to feel like when you connect with this person, it's going to lead to sorrows. You won't experience any growth. It's not true. Someone may even be interested in the person you want to go to, and this is why they are discouraging you from going to them. 
they're wearing a mask. Whoever this King of Pentacles is around you is wearing a mask. They're misleading you. They may have some type of interest in the person you're interested in. And they don't want you taking any action. They may be interfering with you with messages you've been trying to send to someone. Someone has been doing something to block some type of communication. And you're sitting back wondering, well, why are they not responding to me? That's because they didn't receive the message that you sent. If you sent a message. There's a higher fan in here as well that's doing something. There's someone religious that's doing something. They're doing something illegal. They're going to be losing a lot of money or they've already lost a lot of money because they did something either illegal, something really barbaric, something malicious. You may want to be mindful of that. You have been accepting a vibe from a higher fan in the reverse. They're showing up in the upright because of how they present themselves to the world. You will see this person and think that they are in the upright, that they are kind, they're righteous, they do what's right, they don't. They do not. This is someone very vindictive. Someone accepted some type of bribery behind the scenes from a couple or from a family, some type of toxic group. They accepted a bribery in order to cause interferences. This person is married and he and his wife accepted some type of payment to cause you heartache, to cause you loss, disappointment, to block your forward movement, to block your growth, to block your connection, block communications with you and someone else. This person, when you find out what it is they've been doing, if you haven't already, it's going to break your heart because this is someone you've known for a long time. Someone is committed to blocking your forward movement because they accept their bribery behind the scenes. I kid you not. They accepted some type of bribery behind the scenes and they are disappointed because they know you're still going to be taking action to move towards your wish fulfillment, whether this is in business or love. You're still going to be having it. This is a whole collaboration. This is one of those people when something happens and you ask questions, yes, they are into something dark. When something happens and you ask them a question, They'll tell you one thing and then they'll run to the other party and tell them something because they don't want some type of communication taking place. Like they are trying to cover their tracks. But someone is messier than they realize that they are and they're about to be found out. Someone is about to be exposed. They're going between you and someone else. Like either you and the person you want to connect with live separately like in a different part of the same state, something like that. Like, I don't, I don't know exactly what it is, but they're going back and forth, playing like the middleman, double agent or something between two people or two groups or something like that. Like they have your friends helping them block you. Something like that. They're coming up as very genuine, very kind, very uh, upright, someone that, uh, acts based on moral and principle but this person does not have principle they don't have principle they're upset that they cannot keep you trapped in some type of relationship you are in or some or get you to go back to the past like you you want to be in this energy this is you but they're trying to keep you in some type of energy that's just not you anymore like you've woken up it's like you know how Sleeping Beauty was asleep for however many years um, and then Prince Charming came and I guess kissed her and she woke up? Someone wants her to go back to sleep, but she's already had the sleep that she needs. It said, I don't want to go back to sleep. I've had enough sleep. I've been slept asleep for thousands of years. I'm tired of that. That I want to be awake. If I never get another night of sleep, I'll be just a okay because I've had all the sleep in the world. Someone wants you to go back to sleep. They don't want you to see the truth about them. They want you to hold back. They don't want you communicating with who you want to communicate to. They don't want, to, want you taking action, but you are going to. Someone is very malicious. This is not their first time doing something that's malicious, by the way. This is not their first time. 
someone is into something really dark and malicious. Yeah, they don't want you going forward towards this person. Someone is of high character. You see someone of feminine energy. You see them for exactly who they are. But someone wants you second guessing yourself like, hey, are you sure you want to go to this person? I'm not really getting a good vibe from them. This is not someone that even knows how to read people's vibes. They don't even know how to read their own vibe. This person, when they look at themselves, they don't even know what they're seeing in the mirror because they're fo so far gone. Someone may have went to school to be a religious uh, person. For some of you, like like this could be a pastor, a priest, a bishop, something. And they don't even honor their studies. They don't honor their oath to God or nothing. Someone is very financially focused. It's very easy to pay this person to do anything. Someone has been interfering with your friend's life in more ways than one. And the truth is going to be exposed about them. Absolutely exposed. A friendship is about to be over. For some of you, whoever you're interested in works with you and this person, this higher fence, is going back and forth between you and this person telling lies. Trying to do like a PR cleanup. They're blocking communications, erasing messages, just all kinds of stuff. They're trying to act like they are friends with this feminine energy, but they're not. It's a double agent. There's something very malicious going on, all because you want to give an offer to someone. They want you to think that this person is reckless, someone is loose, someone sleeps around, all kinds of stuff, someone is not worth working with committing to but it's not true someone is of high character high moral character someone is a privileged lady in her own right someone is very abundant spiritually and when you partner up with them all of that abundance will be manifested that's what people don't see i think when people see whoever it is you are wanting to connect with they see them as a bomb like they don't have as much money as he does She's irrelevant. No one really cares. They downplay this person, but really this is this person's energy. This is this person's energy. And someone is very hardworking, committed. Like someone is going to push forward until they achieve success. And I think you know that. You see how this started off with the Eight of Pentacles? Eight of Pentacles? This is someone that will work until they perfect their craft. And then the Ten of Pentacles is showing up here. This is not someone that gives up. This is someone that keeps going. They don't care who is against them. They don't care who supports them, who doesn't support them. They're going to keep going until they achieve their goal, their aspirations, regardless of who is supporting them or not. And that's something they don't want you to see. But I think you see that already. And you may just be waiting for the right time to make a move. I think they already know you're going for it. Yeah, you're going for it. And they're unhappy about that. You're going for it. Be careful with the energies around you. Just because you've known someone for, I don't know how many years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, does not mean they have your best interest at heart. Someone in here has financial issues going on behind the scenes and they won't tell you that. That's why they that's part of the reason why they accept that bribery behind the scenes. They have financial issues going on and they thought when they accepted this bribery it was going to solve all of their problems. You may be trying to connect with a Queen of Cups. They saw that Queen of Cups and said, Oh, well, she's an easy easy task to take down and then they effed around and found out oh it's not as easy as i thought it was going to be but they are obligated because they accepted that money some of you this person is just vicious cold they don't want to see you happy so they're interfering with your happiness they want to be with the person you're interested in the person you're interested in is not interested in them so they're doing a whole lot Someone could also drink a lot, is what I'm hearing. Someone could drink a lot till they can't see straight, but they'll hide it when they come in public, they come out in this energy. It's not genuine. It's a facade. It's a facade. 
Be mindful with the friends you have. Be mindful with the friends you have. Just because you know Billy, known Billy for 40 years does not mean Billy is your friend. It doesn't mean that Billy is your friend. Excuse me, I was trying to adjust my camera. Billy is more than likely the one causing blockages in your life. I'm telling you, causing blockages and things like that, hiding things, doing things behind the scenes that they're hoping you don't see, right? Collaborating with other people, ulterior motives, but you never know that Billy is interfering with your journey because you've known Billy for 40 years and Billy seems to be in the upright when he's around you. Meanwhile, Billy is probably decapitating people behind the scenes for money or just for pleasure because he gets a thrill out of it. One day the court comes or the, the, the police comes and busts down Billy's door and you're wondering, well, what is going on? Why are they busting down Billy's door? Why is the FBI out here? And they tell you, oh, Billy has been decapitating children for this many years. And you're like, oh, no, Billy would never do that. And you know very well, if the FBI shows up at your door, that means they have all the evidence they need on you before they show up at your door. Because those are not people that just move on the wing. They know exactly what they are getting involved in. That means they've been researching you. They've been researching Billy for 10 years, 20 years or something. You know the FBI is very patient. When they're making a move, that means they know. They have 100% proof about what they are investigating or they've investigated before they come in and bust Billy's door down. Okay? But because Billy has been really good at selling you a picture that he's modest, he does what's right, he doesn't throw a fit or anything, you tell them, oh, Billy would never do that. Billy is an upstanding guy. Billy, Billy is a pastor, he's a priest, he's a bishop, he looks out for the community, and they're looking at you like, yeah, we have videos of Billy doing stuff to kids and stuff, so uh, I don't know what you're talking about, sorry you didn't know Billy very well, but we have video tips, we have thousands of video tips we've had to traumatize ourselves with because we had to watch, yeah, and you're standing there in shock. Someone is very malicious in your energy and you don't know that because when you see them, they show up in this energy. Okay? Someone knows how to play with your mind and your heart. They have a PhD on you. And that's because they've been around you for a long time. Someone knows how to manipulate you. They know just the they know just the right thing to say to get a reaction out of you or to block you. They have you second guessing yourself. They will not defeat. <laughs> They're not going to be defeating this feminine energy. Whoever they're trying to go up, up go up against, they won't be defeating. This union, this collaboration is absolutely coming into being. They thought they thought that they had won. It was a temporary victory. They will not be defeating anything. Someone has to put down their sword and walk away. This is divine intervention. It was just in the nick of time, in the matter of time that they had to do that. Excuse me. Someone thought they were going to keep doing something over and over and over and then they got exposed. And now they have to put down their sword and move on. And now they've lost some type of friendship because I guarantee you, you are more than likely looking out for someone, maybe giving them money here and there to make sure they're okay. Some of you, these people work for you. You give them jobs and things like that, but they didn't care. They still betray you. And now they're about to lose everything because they were causing illusions. And you didn't know the whole time. They accepted some type of bribery. They've been causing you a lot of illusions, pretending to be your friend, but they're not. They've lost a battle. Someone had some type of momentary victory and they were celebrating. Oh, yes, we've blocked him from moving forward, from taking action. And the universe was just sitting back and watching them. Like, oh, really? I think not. You obviously don't understand what's going on here. This is all part of our plan. Yes, you wait. We'll show you what we are about to do. Okay? We're about to show you what in the world is going on here. Someone is about to be having a hard time 
and they won't be able to close this chapter ever. Okay? They won't be able to. Someone has been trying to cause delay after delay after delay after delay for something to be fixed, for something to be corrected. They've been causing delays, blocking messages, blocking communications, anything you can think of someone or a group of people have been doing it to cause delay in something being closed, in a chapter being finished. They don't want someone ending a chapter, okay? There's some type of court proceeding that's coming up and they're going to be court causing delays or this is what they're intending to do as well because they know they won't be able to, to defeat the character that they're going up against. So they're going to be trying to cause delay and it's all going to be entertainment for the universe because at the end of the day, it's already going in favor of the, of the of person they're going up against. It's going in your favor, collective. So they can cause all the delays they want, try to prevent closure, try to defeat you, play all the games that they want. They can play all the games they want, but it's still going in your favor, collective. Okay, there's a queen. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> there's a queen of pentacles in here that thought that she was going to be receiving some type of opportunity or love offer and she's not she's been exposed she's been working with someone behind the scenes sir your friend whoever this is she's been working with them to cause delays and you didn't know that this could be someone you were married to someone you were in a relationship with you may have gotten a divorce from this person they've been working to cause delays in your life it's a oh, if he's leaving me, he can't go to her. I'm better than her. What makes him think that he can go to her after me? It's that you're not even in the caliber of the person this man is trying to go to. You need to humble yourself. Humble that self before the star see, and they may forgive you. Okay? This woman has been causing delays for you behind the scenes and it's not just because you are going you have decided to leave this is throughout your relationship with this woman she's been causing you delays financial blockages all kinds of connections networking opportunity a whole lot this woman has been paying people Time and time again to interfere with your forward movement. You connecting with this person you want to go to. She thinks she's better than the person you're wanting to go to. They say, oh, he's going to her. That's a downgrade, so I have nothing to worry about. But beneath the scene, beneath, their, beneath all of that ego, she is hurt. She's pressed. Pressed, 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 pressed. Pressed. Someone may not even have the money anymore to pay people, but she's she's uh, uh, collecting. Someone may be going to people crying. I think he's going to be going to worse her. Why would you leave me for someone like that? I look better than her. I have more than she does. And she looks so pathetic. She doesn't realize she looks pathetic. That's when you know you've lost. When you have to call people to cry to them because someone has decided to move on with their life. When you are, when you have to fix your mouth and speak ill of another feminine energy you don't even know because you think your ex is going to them. Oh, maybe he is. Listen, uh, yeah, maybe he is. Uh, excuse me, folks. Let me check my pettiness. Maybe you're right, ma'am. He, he could be going to her. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Even I'm going through some type of rude awakening. Apparently, he is going to have abundance with someone else. Whoever you think it is. <laughs> oh, Lord. And she's burdened by that. She's burdened. 
she is burdened. Like, I can't pay you. Let me pay someone to you. Like, she, this woman, if someone is going through a divorce with her, she is trying to take this masculine for all he's got because she's someone greedy as heck. It said, if you won't stay with me for me to cause you more problems, I'm going to take all you've got. And he's looking at her like, yeah, I don't think that's going to be happening. Good luck with that. Good luck. And thank you for exposing who you are finally. She may be trying to, I'm telling you, this woman has been paying people behind the scenes. She may even be paying, trying to pay someone in the court to make something go in her favor. Okay? It's not. She's been paying. She may be trying to pay someone to either have you out of here or have the feminine energy you want to go to out of here. Be mindful, sir. This woman is cool, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, yeah. Yep. They want to pay to have an, a high priestess out of here to prevent them from walking away. So maybe the person you're going to is gifted and they're trying to end that person so that you don't make it to them. They don't want you having a family with this person. So you could want to have a traditional family and you know you can have that with this high priestess and they're trying to pay for something to be done to this woman so that they don't get to leave. They were trying to bind this person to something, but they cannot because they're going to lose something, either a court case or some type of situation. Something, this, this woman is already losing. She already lost. So she's desperate now and she's paying or she paid for something to be done to another person to have them out. But the person is still moving forward. This woman has lost her power. Like she's giving her power away. Like I'm so desperate to win over this person. I need you to go and unalive her because I don't stand a chance against her. He will not leave me. I am the right person for him to be with. I'm his twin flame. You're not his twin flame. Do not be this desperate ever in life, sisters and brothers. Do not ever get to the point where you're this desperate to keep someone. While they're Do not let anyone tell you they don't want you twice. I don't care who it is. Whether you're low vibrational or a uh, high vibrational, don't let anyone tell you they don't want you twice. If a man or woman said that they want to go, let them go. What is that statement Medea said? If someone wants to leave your life, let them go. Someone obviously feel like they're doing the right thing for them. They want to move forward and heal. This Eight of Cups has to do with healing. There's a masculine that wants to heal and he's going to do that. He's taking charge of his life. This man has taken his power back. So he's moving on. This high priestess, sorry to tell you, darling, queen of pentacles in the reverse. There's nothing you can do to stop this person from moving forward. They're showing up here as a high priestess and a magician. And they're healed. So, honey, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Whatever malicious plans you have for this person is not happening. It's not it's not happening. You're paying. You're also paying. I don't know if you're paying a high priestess to do something to a queen of cups. It's not going to happen either. You send, you want them to send some type of spell work towards a queen of cups. It's not happening, honey. Okay? It's not going to happen. You might as well just throw in the tower because all you're doing is accumulating more problems for yourself. You're already in the reverse. You're already going through some type of divorce or separation. You are going to be losing quite a lot. You might as well take, just take the losses that you've taken already and move on with your life. But coming for this energy here is just going to make things worse for you. I don't know if you're trying to have someone on a live. Whatever it is, it's not going in your favor. Okay? For you, sir, this woman, woman could be planning to steal something from you. Like steal some money or even have you out of here as well because you are so determined to leave her. She knows you're going to be leaving. She does not want this chapter or whatever this is to end with you because you are financially ben uh, beneficial to this woman. You're her cash cushion. You're her bank account. 
So she does not want this chapter to come to an end with you and her. So she's paying people behind the scenes to end you. If you didn't know that, now you know. Someone is desperate to keep you binded to them. And she wasn't even genuine with you. This person doesn't even have emotions for you. But there are financial benefits of her being around you and with you. So she wants to keep those financial benefits. For some of you, this is someone that was grown to be in your energy. Maybe she was paid. But I'm really so getting that this is someone's either wife, ex-wife, something of that nature that's paying for some type of ending. And it's not going to go like she plans. She said, he cannot leave me. I am the best thing that ever happened to him. Meanwhile, she didn't contribute nothing to the union that you two were in. All she did was use your money. Okay? This came out sideways. I'm going to put it like, like that. Yeah. Sis is, sis is done. Sis is like, come back to the past. We already know each other. I know what you like, what you don't like. And that masculine is like, uh, no, I'm good. I'm a whole new person now. She said, like, I remember we used to do this together. Remember when we first got together? And he's like, I don't remember. Remember? 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 And he's like, no, I don't remember. It's dead and gone. Let it go. <laughs> Dang, cold hearted. He said that old me is dead and gone. Oh, I've been traveling on this road too long. She's trying to find my way back home. The old me is dead and gone. Dead and gone. Oh, oh. <laughs> I swear my pettiness. <laughs> It's the pettiness for me. Since y'all, you're too petty. <laughs> it's like, come on, ma'am. This is speaking desperation. The word of the week has been desperation. Someone is desperate to hold on to a masculine energy or to hold on to some type of opportunity. They just will not be keeping. And it's just speaking desperate. Like, you have to move on, ma'am. You have to move on. We've all had to move on. We've all been in relationships where we find it hard to let go of the person. But you have to let go if someone wants to elevate in life, wants to heal, but you don't want to heal. Like, you don't genuinely want to heal. You thought you were going to play a role and pretend to be healed, and it was going to keep this masculine with you. You can't only pretend for so long. The mask is always going to fall off. It looks like it did. The truth was exposed. You betrayed this masculine. You're trying to end this masculine. You can't want to pretend to be something for so long. And after everything you put this masculine to, through, he's still going to have wish fulfillment. For some of you feminine energy, there could be a, 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 someone's ex is paying your ex to come back in your life. Lord, please have common sense and keep them at a distance. They say, hey... That's when you pull their red out. Shh, social distancing. Shh, stay where you are. But this woman is in some type of desperate energy. You don't have any fond memories of her. You don't want to connect. Like you don't even want to think about this woman because you found the truth out about her. She's a gold digger. She take your money when you're in need. Oh, she's a trifler. Friend, indeed. Oh, she's a good. Well, at the time. That digs on you. Yeah, this is a gold digger. She wants you to have fun memories. She wants to go down memory lanes with you. And you're just like, oh, yeah. That's giving me PTSD. I don't want to do any of that. Let's keep it over there. Okay? The woman plays a lot of games. She's been playing a lot of games with you throughout the entire relationship. And you're just now finding out that this person was never genuine with you. This is someone that plays a lot of mental games. Instead of being innovative, she's a manipulator. A manipulator. Instead of being someone that multitasks, 
she does multiple manipulation. She said, I'm going to play with your heart. I'm going to play with your mind. And I'm going to get your friends to turn against you, your family to turn against you. So they can feel like I'm the best option for you, even though I'm destroying you behind closed doors. And you're going towards your empress. And she knows it. And you're like, I don't care what you think. You you think you're more beautiful than this empress I'm going through? I don't care. You think you're better than them? I don't care. <laughs> you're just looking at her like blah, 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 blah. You're probably just sitting back listening to this woman talk to you about this empress that she knows nothing about. And you're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I hear is hate. You hating. Like, you know you don't compare to this person. But you know the truth about this woman. You're seeing her for exactly who she is. And she's pressed. Yeah, you see her for the thief that she is. Just be mindful. Be mindful. There could be some type of plot to end you or to steal from you, break into your home, steal something from you, like steal your peace, block you from recovering. So, I don't know if you're going through healing right now, but there's some type of plan to do something to you or the person you are trying to connect with. Be mindful. Someone is unhinged. I'm telling you, be mindful. Be mindful. Someone is unhinged and you don't realize they are unhinged because when they are around you, they're acting like they're okay. They are not okay. You need to keep your distance from this person. They are pissed off. You say, how dare you go to a black woman? How dare you go to a Hispanic woman? I am better than them. You say, oh, really? What makes you better than them? I'm telling you, you need to keep away from this person. It's not safe. Whatever path you are choosing to take, you need to take that and move. There's something dangerous about this woman. Someone is unhinged and you don't know that. I don't know if you're still in the same home with this person. You might want to be careful eating from them, drinking anything they give you. You may want to be careful. Okay? Yeah. And just like I said, whoever they're going up against is still going to be winning the situation. Whether it's a court case, an offer, in business, a love, karma is in their favor. The queen of cups you're going towards is going to have victory. Absolutely. So all the planning they've been doing, they may be planning to send someone to her so she can end up with the wrong partner. It's not going to happen. Someone is stepping up to do the right thing in one of your situations. You do have some type of court proceedings going on and someone is going to step in to assist you. Okay, that's for someone specific because they have information that you're going to need. Okay, but this queen of pentacles here, sir, I will. you better be mindful this is a cuckoo person on the loose. And she, when she's around you, when she's around you, she's feeding you all kinds of lies, trying to sweet talk you. Maybe they're calling you, sweet talking you so you can come back. He said, remember when we went on, for, on our first date when we were 15? And he said, yeah, I remember you were eyeing the other guy next to us. I went to the bathroom and you give him your number from what I found out. And the, oh, well, I just gave him my number to give it to his sister. Uh, yeah, he didn't have a sister. <clears throat> okay. So, sir, whatever action you are taking to move forward in your life, whether it's to move away from this crazy person or hinge person, you need to do that. That's going to be your justice in life. I'm not saying you have to go end up with this queen of cups, whoever this is. But you do need to distance yourself from this woman and that fr those friends of yours. Go start over somewhere brand new. Okay? You are surrounded by snakes. You are surrounded by wolves in sheep clothing. You're, you, you were bred a little different. But because you were around these people for so long, you started adapting to their ways. But that's not you. Okay, that is not you. You were awakened for a reason. For a reason. I'm getting like a King of Pentacles energy from you. Okay, I'm getting a King of Pentacles energy from you. Like someone may have told you the truth about a betrayal. 
I know you're heartbroken about it, but this has helped you to see things straight. Like you are content with the information you found out because it's enabling you to move forward with your life, to take the right action, okay? So maybe you're going to move away and start over brand new somewhere else. Kudos to you. But whoever you are, run, run as fast as you can. Run, Forest, run, okay? Source, what is your advice to us? today okay at 23 5 it said you have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible you love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive for you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. I am adventurous. Uh, you need to get on that adventure and move on away. You've been going through an adventure with this person, sir. We're going to keep this to you. This message here is for you. Whatever adventure you've been going through with this woman, you need to put an end to it because you may not be here very much longer if you don't distance yourself from this person in this group. Okay? Anyways, that is your message. Thank you for joining and watching. As always, thank you for supporting. I will see you next. I will see you in my next read. Goodbye for now and stay blessed.